What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the channel, fam. It's your favorite entrepreneur, Base and Mental. This is episode two, series I just started called Amalgamite. Why do I call it Amalgamite? Because I take characters from two different animes, two different shows, whatever you want to call them, and I combine them to create new characters and new stories. Listen, as you go through the video, I'm going to be explaining this character's story and how I created them. First, let me also say, go see Avengers Endgame, like pronto. By the time y'all see this video, I plan on seeing it again. Like Avengers Endgame was dope. Go see the movie, you will not regret it. No one spoiled the film. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you keep it locked for more because there are more coming. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff so you can see what's coming up next, all right? Let's get into the video. So the character we are talking about this week is named Steel, son of Asgard. So I'm just saying, go see Avengers Endgame. If you haven't, back to the script. <laughs> and if you listen to the name, you're hearing two different heroes. You're hearing son of Asgard, AKA Odin's son, AKA Thor. Thor is a god, so. And Steel from DC Kong. He's a black guy with a hammer who's a techie. I was honestly, genuinely curious about what I thought Thor would look like if he was a black character. I thought it was cool to see. I thought it was cool in my head and I was like, Let's, how can I make this make sense? So I remembered immediately the hammer that Steel carries. He carries a steel hammer that he uses to like fight crime with and stuff. And I remember, and I had just saw Avengers Infinity War there's gonna be Avengers all over this thing. It reminded me of Steel because of Thor's new hammer, Stormbreaker. I, I, gotta, I gotta make this character now. It's gonna be stuck in my brain. I'm not gonna be able to let it go. I gotta do it now. I came up with the, with the image you're gonna see at the end of this video. His story is really interesting. Steel, son of Asgard, is a brother to Thor and Loki. Yeah, I said it. But he is the son of Frigga and Son of Heimdall. Ah, yeah, I probably wasn't expecting that one, was it? Mama got a little curious about some uh, little sugar in her coffee, you feel? But this happened when the time she was with Odin, in order for the sons to be around the same age and all of that good stuff. Heimdall has been raising him in school and at home and all of that good stuff. Like, he's been sort of kept in, in the dark, you know? And his powers start emerging as he starts getting older. And Heimdall was like teaching him how to use them. And he also has Heimdall's eyes. He really got those from Heimdall. So he, he can see a lot without people having to tell him anything. He starts to get older and more of his powers develop. He starts seeing um, a strength similar to Thor's but also very different in nature. He commissions the dwarves to build him a hammer. A good size larger than Mjolnir. But virtually the same function. Helps him control his own abilities, as well as sort of invent new ones in a way. Frigga had sort of forgotten about him, but then he wanted to be a, a warrior and guardian of Asgard, like his father. He looked up to his father very heavily. That changed him was when he found out that Frigga was his mother. He found out after them like walking by each other, meeting each other for like a split second, and because of his eyes, he immediately saw the part of him that he'd been missing. He immediately saw like who he looked like, but he never saw her face. So he finally saw her, he figured it out instantly and was like, that's my mom. And then there was also like a sort of shock or feeling between the two to let them know like, yeah, this is your kid. You should remember this guy. He starts to train and become a warrior and all of that good stuff, but he still never met Thor or Loki. And then he's sort of called to the throne room where Frigga and Odin see him for the first time. And as soon as he meets him, they recognize his hammer looks similar to Mjolnir, but is much larger. Wondering like, how did he get this weapon? Who made this? Like, what is going on? Is he, like, Odin's confused. Frigga's like, oh. And she just breaks it down to him. Remember that time when we was going through this thing and Heimdall came and comforted me. 
But what had happened was Steel. <laughs> His abilities, again, similar to Thor's because he's based on Thor and Steel, but he's much, I'd say, much smarter. Um, he's more along the forger lines of things. Where Thor, you could say, was a bit of the destroyer, Steel is a bit of the creator. He's more of the, he, oh, he can fight, don't get it wrong. He, 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 can, he can swap it out with the best of them. He can control lightning. He can fly without the hammer. Like he can spin it real quickly if he wanted to and then throw it in a direction and hold on and it'll yank him even faster than his normal range of flight. But his hammer can change in size because he, remember he's a techie, he's a forger. Like steel, he can, he can toy with stuff and pick with things and then with the eyes of his father, he can sort of get it down to a science and get it super exact. So that way it's like really no sort of hiccups in weapons and armor and all of that good stuff. He's like a dwarf, but from like Heimdall and Freeman. <laughs> so he's up there. And as he develops, he can, he, he then rebuilds his own hammer, which is the one you see in the picture. It still looks like Mjolnir because he recognizes his heritage and where he comes from. Of course he was angry for a while. He recognizes it, he honors it and he sort of becomes a hero like Thor, just in a different way. He controls metal or steel, but he can manipulate it much easier than most. Like Magneto, and like making weapons out of it and going all crazy and everything. It's like a very minuscule version of Magneto's power. He can like sort of just bend metal or just use it little, like tiny bits here and there to help get the curvature for weapons and all of that good stuff. It's like a very minuscule version of Magneto's power. He can like sort of just bend metal or just use it little like tiny bits here and there to help get the curvature for weapons and all of that good stuff. He can see like spirits. He can see like if someone, this is gonna be a shout out to, you know what, I'm not gonna even say it. I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna give away part of Endgame. That's, that's what I'll say. He can see things a lot more deeply than others, but he can turn the eyes on and off. Where Heimdall's eyes are always on, he can sort of turn that ability on and off, which I think is kind of cool. This is all developed from thinking of Black Thor. There will be more Amalgamites coming. Hope you enjoy the drawing. I hope you enjoy the process. Make sure you keep it locked. Your favorite entrepreneur, Base and Mental, saying be creative, play your cards, and change the game. All right, fam? I'll see you in the next video. And go see Endgame. You will not, will not regret. I'll see y'all in the next video.
gets far Don't stop now Reaching for a distant star Don't stop now Isn't it strange to how we're safe from home? To the neck out and days until the second glow If you're gonna break our shades, you have to let me know Turn this shit around, just out of top the notes Is all you need to do Turn this shit around, just out of top of the notes Cause all you need to do 